Terry here, D-Lab Electronics, with a tech tip on the Tram D201 transceiver. Have you noticed over time that you're starting to hear some buzz in your audio, even with the volume control all the way down? Have others reported to you that they're hearing buzz or hum in your RF transmission? Well, I think I have found the cause of this problem, and here is a possible solution. So when this tram came into the shop, even with the volume all the way down, I had a buzz. And if I increased the audio and heard some noise level, the buzz was there, but it was in the background. There was also a lot of buzz and hum in the transmission. I initially thought maybe it was a microphone issue, but it turned out to be ground issues on the six GH8 tubes that line up for the audio and the microphone preamp. Now, this thing has no buzz in the audio, and the RF transmission sounds great. It's nice and clear. There's no issues whatsoever with the tram. So let's pop the hood and I'll show you what I found. All right, we'll start bottom side on the tram. Here is the six GH8 that feeds the 6L6 modulator through this 0.02 microfarad cap. I took this insulated probe and if I push down on the tube socket I found that the buzz intensity would decrease. I thought well what the heck is that all about? Well if you look at these tube sockets they're actually simply pop riveted to the chassis and then the ground runners come across and go to one of the tabs on the tube socket. So the only thing that is providing ground is the integrity of those pop rivets. So I ended up cleaning the metal and I put a solder connection from the tube socket direct to chassis. And that really improved the noise level on the audio chain. And then if you look top side at your tram, you'll see the three 6GH8 tubes. None of them had shields. I ended up installing shields on all three and then this one that feeds the 6L6, I actually put a copper braid and soldered that to chassis and then all the noise problems disappeared. Okay, yes, this is not something that I normally work on. However, the owner had this radio through several shops and he shared with me his frustration so I decided to take it on. It was a bit of a challenge but it was pretty interesting and I wanted to share the results with you.